Hey guys, it's Robsy back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. In today's video, we will be going through the complete review of Apple Reminders in iPadOS 15, the public beta of course. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Before we get started with this video, a shout out to our two team members, Yeni and her husband. They have a vlogging channel, Oreos Lifestyle. If you're interested in lifestyle vlogs, make sure you check out their channel and subscribe. We'll first go through the advantages and disadvantages of using Apple Reminders. Apple Reminders is free. It's a minimalist app. It has hourly reminders and you can collaborate on lists in the application. You can also have very detailed subtasks and that makes it a great to-do application. It has a few disadvantages that we're hoping they will be able to fix. You can't attach different types of files to your to-dos. It does not have a recycle bin and you can only add one URL per task. We have rated Apple Reminders an 8 out of 10 on our website and that is quite impressive for a free application. Creating a new reminder is very simple. You can then name your new task. At the top of your keyboard, you have some icons to let you pick a date and time. You can add a location, add a tag, flag your task, or add a photo from your photos library or scan a document. The inspection icon lets you add more details to your reminder. You can add notes and a URL. Your reminders in the application can either be date-based, location-based, or message-based. For your date-based reminders, you can add a deadline date and time for your task. We hope in the future we'll be able to set start dates too. Your reminder can repeat hourly, daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, and every three months, every six months, and yearly. Of course, you can customize the frequency of your repeating. You can choose the number of hours or days, weeks on specific days, months on specific days, then days, and yearly on specific months and days of the month. And that is all the repeating options you would like to have in a to-do application. Every sets the number of days, weeks, etc. for your repeats. Your ending can repeat forever or you can have a specific date to end a repeating. We're still waiting for the option to end the repeat after certain cycles. So you'd want your reminder to repeat five times then stop. That's also a useful way to end a repeating by the number of repeats you've had. In Apple Reminders, you can use time phrases like tomorrow, next month, next week to set your dates for your tasks. The application also recognizes phrases like every day, every month. And in iPadOS 15, we can now use slightly more advanced phrases when repeating our reminders. So you could say every second Sunday of the month, which is awesome. When you tap location, you can enter an address or pick a saved one on your device. You can then decide whether you receive a notification on arriving or when leaving that address. There's also an option to get a reminder when you're getting in and out of the car. You can set reminders for when you are messaging someone in messages. Choose the person from your contacts and when you start messaging that person, you get a notification for the reminder. There's also a lot of things that you can add to your to-dos in Apple Reminders. You can flag important tasks that require your immediate attention. Apple Reminders adds it to your flagged smart list. You can set priorities for your to-dos, none, low, medium, and high. You can also move your reminder to different lists. You can create subtasks and add details to them in Apple Reminders. And so your subtasks can be as detailed as your main task. You can add images to your tasks by taking a photo, scanning documents, or choosing one from your photos library. What are the chances you will need more than 10 photos? 
Long pressing on your images gives you options to copy, share, make large or small thumbnails, or delete that image. In Apple Reminders, you can create reminders from App Store, WhatsApp, Messages, Apple Notes, and other different applications where dates are recognized. And this is a smart way to work. You can create a new list on your sidebar and name it. The application then gives you options to choose the color and icon from 60 options. If these icons don't work for you, you can use emojis, which is awesome. Tap done to create a list when you're happy with it. While creating a list, we can now create custom smart lists in the application by tapping make into smart list. You can then create a smart list by filtering your tags. You can pick a date, any. You can specify a range from and to specific dates or a relative range which will either be the past or future couple of hours, weeks, months or years. Your time can be any morning, afternoon, evening or night. And your locations filters are specific and they work exactly the same way they work for your to-dos in the application. Add flagged tasks and certain priorities to your smart list. The three dots icon has options to change name and appearance of your list. You can share list to collaborate or manage a shared list if you're already collaborating. Share options let you decide who can add people to your shared list. You can choose anyone can add people or only you can add people. You can also give some people permission to allow inviting other people while disabling this for other people you're collaborating with. And this is quite a lot of control over how we share our to-dos in the application and we love it. Select reminders lets you select multiple reminders to reschedule or add date. Move them to a different list. Delete them or assign mark as complete, add tag or flag them. You can sort your reminders manually by deadline by creation date, priority, and title. You can choose to show or hide completed tasks. Print lets you make any number of copies of your reminder. You can then pick a paper size, which could be any of these, and your printouts can either be portrait or landscape to export a PDF because we do not approve of printing and is extremely necessary. Zoom in on the preview. You can also delete a list. As you complete your tasks, they disappear from your list, which declutters it. When you choose to see your completed tasks, you can clear to permanently delete them from the application. Let's hope App Reminders can add a recycle bin for us so we can recover deleted items if we want to. App Reminders, like most applications, has one screen that doubles as your workspace and homepage, a true definition of minimalism. Starting from the top left corner, you have your smart lists showing the number of tasks you have to do, scheduled ones, flagged or assigned to me. All shows all the tasks in the application, which gives you a rough idea of how many items you need to do. Flagged are those to-dos that require immediate attention, so you have flagged them. Scheduled shows all the reminders in your application that have a deadline, no matter when it is. Your today shows the reminders scheduled for today. You can edit to decide what smart lists show on your sidebar. Tick the list you want on your sidebar and untick the ones you don't want. This allows you to rearrange your lists. Your custom lists are added to your normal list on the sidebar. The only way to tell them apart from the other lists is that they have a settings icon on their thumbnail. That doesn't make for a functional smart list, especially a custom one. Apple should either create a new section for custom smart lists or add them to the other smart lists on the sidebar for easy access. Smart lists must be easily accessible for users to get the most out of them. A group is a collection of lists and a list is a collection of tasks, reminders or to-dos.
So your group can be for work, one for personal life, one for family, for example. And a list can either be in a group or exist independently. And then your tasks can have subtasks. Your tags are all listed on the sidebar. You can then toggle if you want to see them. Apple Reminders lets you pick a combination of tags or single tags, a convenient way to browse through your tasks in the application. This is a powerful Get Things Done app that syncs across your devices if you like the Apple ecosystem. It is functional for most basic planning and you should therefore give it a try before trying out third-party Get Things Done applications. That brings us to the end of this video. We hope it was helpful for you. Give it a thumbs up if it was. Don't forget to check out Oreo's lifestyle if you are into lifestyle vlogging. And let us know what other videos you'd like us to cover on this channel. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.